all these tools, you know, like our intuition, our hunches, you know, those things that we've taken for granted that we have not paid any attention to are the things that we're going to have to start focusing on now. Because your spirit has a connection to the universal collective consciousness. That's the one we're talking about. That's the God that everybody, that one that everybody wants to talk about. It's the collective consciousness, you know, the one and all and the all in one. Okay, and your spirit is directly connected to that collective consciousness. So it has a holistic view. And it is always signaling you and guiding you, but because we have been programmed to think, you know, not to pay attention to those, those um, etheric things, you know, we have missed the boat, you know. Now we're going to have to start paying attention more than ever because it's going to give us our guidance and our direction on how to step up to our queenship, our kingship, you know, how to become the princess and the princess, prince of the zodiac, you see, of the universe, you see. So we have to pay attention to our spirit. That's the only thing that's going to give you the proper direction and the proper guidance, you know. If you're looking for a leader outside of yourself, you're looking in the wrong spot. I remember uh, Bobby Hammond saying, um, when you're praying, you're just putting in a phone call to your own ass. Okay? Understand that. And, I mean, and, 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 you're, and thoughts are things, you guys. Thoughts are things. What you think is going to make instant manifestation on the spiritual plane. Only to take a physical manifestation later down the line, okay? So if you're putting your energy toward the negative, well, excuse me, negative, excuse me, feminine. <laughs> but if you're, yeah, if you're putting your, oh, you know, I got so many bills, or I wonder if I can, you know, uh, I wonder if he's going to like me, or he's not going to like me, or, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm just going to have a bad day. you <laughs> You're setting the stage for that. You know, watch your words, watch your thoughts, because you're setting the stage for whatever it is that you're putting your energies. You know, you're energizing that part of who you are. You know, and so it, it's the three things, the three things that, that stunts our empowerment is our fears, our doubts, and our guilt. Okay? The minute you doubt. See, what happens is the Spirit will give you a vision. And that'll come to you in, to you in your dreams. You know, that'll come to you. You just maybe see something out of the side of your eye. You know? Um, you could be riding down the street and have a question on your mind, and the billboard pops up and answer that question. That's Spirit. Okay? The more bizarre it is, the more Spirit is trying to talk to you. Okay? So, you know, so what you have to do is you have to, you know, examine that. When you see that, you know, when you see something like that coming up, you have to examine that and, and understand that there's a message, you know, that you have to try to receive, you know, that's going to give you the proper guidance. So you have to be able to look at those things and understand, be it through astrology, numerology, you know, go get a reading, a tarot reading, or, um, you know, the pendulum, you know, anything, any of those tools. There's so many tools that we can tap into to understand why this information is coming to us or what this message is all about, you know. And once we tap into that, we get our guidance from that and things will blossom. We're getting in, into the spiritual rotation and things will open up and things will blossom for us. But as we continue to fight and stay on that physical rotation, to operate from the physical perspective, we're going up against the grain of the universal forces, you see, which is the spiritual forces. That's a wear and tear, that's friction, okay? You get tear down, break down, you see. You're going up against the dominant energy.